All right, so the proper way to do it, bought a dedicated lithium battery for my live scope or my active target only. You got to run, of course, an inline breaker fuse, and that runs straight to a dedicated fuse block behind here. Okay, the ground, I put my cutoff switch on the ground for. I do that for certain reasons. You can put it on the positive like a lot of people do. Uh, but a lot of people put them on the ground too. So that is a cutoff switch. That way I can kill the power coming from my lithium. Once it runs here, runs to a dedicated fuse block for my unit and for my active target. As you can see, as you can see it says AT and depth sounder, which is there. So I've got high gauge wire running from the lithium to here. And when I check the voltage here, it is still like 13 volts. So it don't lose voltage in the length because I'm carrying the correct wire. If you use any smaller wire, it's gonna drop down to like 11 point something volts. And by the time it gets to your unit, you've got 10 volts and it's not even producing the signal you want it to. So if you understand electricity, that's, then you understand that. But anyway, runs from here. There's the black box for my Lorentz active target. So, and then that runs all the way to my unit. So at the wiring at the front, I have 11.97 at the lowest. So I have full 12 volts all the way at the front at the lowest after running 19 point foot. Uh, I think it was reading like 12.5, 12, 12.9. 12 that's right, 12.9 at the front. So... It's got 12.9 here. I want to check it at the back. It's like 13.1. There's literally zero voltage drop because I'm running the correct wiring. And the quality of the screen, the quality of the returns uh, are bright and it don't lag. Like if I move my bait, it moves with it because I've got the proper voltage to this. If I had incorrect voltage to my black box, I could move my jig and it would be like a second lag and then my jig would move because it don't have enough voltage. So... I wanted to show you this to kind of help understand why it's important to do correct wiring. Uh, but yeah, that's how I do mine.